After the release of the negative import list, a retired brigadier of the Indian Army has said that the 89 improvements on the upgraded Arjun Mark 1A variant has transformed it into a highly advanced platform, and it can be compared to the Merkava tank of Israel and the Challenger of the UK. The indigenous tank has already outperformed the Russian T-90 on several parameters, and the new Mark 1A variant was successfully demonstrated to the Indian Army in December 2019, and the Mark 1A variant has a great potential to boost the Make in India and Self-Reliance vision of the Modi government. India has issued an OTAM warning for a launch of an experimental flight vehicle in the Bay of Bengal for an area of around 550 kilometers from 20th to 22nd of August 2020, and this have led to speculation that India might test its indigenously developed Max 6 capable hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, as the OTAM warning is similar to the one which was issued in 2019, during which it successfully tested the demonstrator vehicle. Ahead of the upcoming India-Russia summit in October, the Indian Foreign Secretary and the Deputy Russian Foreign Minister held a telephonic conversation, and reports indicate that India and Russia will sign an intergovernmental agreement next week, under which the two sides are expected to go in for joint development and production of military platforms and spares, which is aimed to transform the existing buyer-seller relationship into joint collaboration. The Pune Ammunition Factory has announced that it has dispatched the first consignment of four varieties of indigenized 40mm grenades to the Border Security Force, which will be used from under-barrel grenade launcher fitted on the 5.56mm Insurs rifle. It has a range of 400 meters, and it is also lightweight and very safe to be carried by the soldiers. The ban on the import of 101 defense items is seen as a boost for indigenous production, and experts have said that transforming from being the world's second largest defense importer to a self-reliant defense industry and the target of $5 billion defense export won't be easy for India, and the government should organize the domestic defense research and manufacturing sectors, and also fund re-innovation of foreign technology by setting up research institutions around certain identified areas. A majority of defense platforms have more than 50% of their content imported from the foreign countries, which means that 40 to 50% of the 52,000 crore rupees recently allocated for domestic procurement will still flow out to foreign vendors and sub-vendors. The Defence Ministry must also ensure that the import of an urgently needed equipment is not held back just because an indigenous solution has been promised by the DRDO or private industry, as there are numerous cases where domestic development agencies have been unable to deliver within the promised deadline. The Pakistan Navy has recently parked one of its August 90B class submarine between two visiting Chinese Navy ships in Karachi, which suggests that the Chinese were invited aboard the French origin submarine constructed by Naval Group in the 1990s, indicating that Pakistan is sharing the inner workings of one of its most potent platforms to China. Pakistan will also receive the first batch of four Chinese Type 39B class submarines in the next few years while the other four will be built locally. India's Sky Root Aerospace has successfully tested an upper-stage rocket engine, thus becoming the first Indian private sector startup company to demonstrate the capability to build a homegrown rocket engine. The 3D printed rocket engine has fewer moving parts, and weighs less than half of conventional rocket engines with a similar capacity. The engine can be restarted a multiple of times, which will enable the launch vehicle to insert various satellites into multiple orbits in a single mission.